What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, or wherever you guys have Virgo in your chart. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may not resonate with all of you Virgos out there. So yes, let's hop into your reading, Virgo. We are going to start out with some spirit messages and then we will um, jump into the love portion. But really quick, Virgo, we got what? 16 more days into the meet and greet slash pool party and pop-up shop in the Houston area. If you guys want to come to the meet and greet and meet me and spend time with me for my birthday, <laughs> um, the tickets are in the description box below. The link to the tickets are in the description box below. Um... Or you guys can head over to my website, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. And while you guys are there, don't forget to check out the Crown of Success box for August. It has some good shit in there and it has been selling, y'all. So definitely check it out. Alrighty, so let's hop in, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Virgo. Okay, so we have morning affirmations. So Virgo, you guys are needing to do your morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. All right? So, like, it can be something easy, like, every day you can say, I make a lot of money, or I am a money magnet. Um, success comes to me easily. It can be stuff like that. Just keep saying those things over and over and over um, every day so that you guys can um, manifest that stuff, okay? Or manifest whatever it is you are speaking. All right, playtime. So, Virgo, you guys need to get out and have some fun. Don't overwork yourself, all right? Spend some time with friends and family. Okay, we have tranquility. It says, make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. So, y'all need to um, spend some time to yourself. You know, some self-care is needed at this time. Take a bath, light a candle, all right? We have consult an expert. So, you guys are needing more information. You guys are needing to talk to somebody before making a major decision, okay? So, consult an expert, Okay. Give me one more message for go. Okay, we got two more. All right, so we have music for manifesting. So you guys can also manifest the music. So it seems like, Virgo, you guys are really in the energy of, like, manifesting. Like, you want all things to come towards you. So you guys can manifest the music. You guys can manifest, you know, with your morning affirmations. You guys set the tone, okay? And then we have worthiness. So you also need to know that you are worthy. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways, okay? So know that you are worthy, Alrighty, at the bottom we have pay attention. So pay attention to something that is around you or in front of you, okay? Let's hop into the little portion of your reading. Let's see. Who are what is coming towards Virgo? Who are what is coming towards Virgo? Universe, spirit, and my ancestors. Please give me messages for Virgo. Who are what is coming towards Virgo? Who are what is coming towards Virgo? Okay, so we have Eight of Swords. Could be a Gemini. Uh oh. We have Temperance. We have the Devil. I don't know. Be careful. Okay, they are wearing a mask. So this is somebody that's going to come off very talkative, all cool and patient and understanding. But beneath it all, honey, they are the Devil. So it could be a Gemini, it can be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Their intentions, we have the Magician in Reverse, Virgo, Gemini Energy, the Ace of Cups in Reverse, Knight of Swords, Virgo. Don't walk, run. Okay, this person is the fucking trick. Your intuition is telling you, but you don't want to listen to it. Listen to your intuition, Virgo. Listen to your intuition, let's see. Universe spirit of my ancestors. Universe spirit of my ancestors. This is for Virgo. Why is the state of swords here? The lovers. So this person is good at getting people to fall for them. Fall in love with them or fall for them. Okay, let's see the lovers. Page of Pentacles. And maybe you guys are the type that's like, mm, I don't know. You know, because it's the Page of Pentacles, and I feel like you guys are kind of going within about it, Virgo. Something is telling you no. Something is telling you to reject them, reject their offer. Something is telling you don't do it. 
I don't know why you're still gonna do it. Something is telling you not to. You guys may regret this afterwards, but let me see. The hermit is here to, to like try to shine a light on things. Let's see. Why is temperance here? Look, see, look, three of swords. So this is gonna lead to some type of heartbreak. The emperor judgment in reverse this is some type of lesson here this is some type of lesson and i will tell you this though virgo this is the type of person that you don't want that you've been telling the universe that you're tired of so it will be some type like you don't even if you don't know this person and you're about to meet them this would just be an energy of someone like you're tired of attracting this type. You're tired of dealing with them. You want something new. And I don't know why the universe does this to us sometimes, but I feel like the universe is going to test y'all ass just to see if y'all are really sure that this is not what you want. Because it's going to come with some type of heartbreak, somebody wearing a mask, you not really wanting to be open to them and fall in love with them or catch feelings. And it looks like that's what's going to happen anyway. And then you're going to regret it or feel some type of way after the fact, okay? Being open to a situation that you know that you should not be open to or give in to, okay? Um, but this person comes off very suave, okay? They're coming in as the emperor. Like, let's see why the devil is here. Let's see. Why is the devil here for Virgo? Going to the devil. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Yep, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They're, like, going to try to pursue you. Run game. They're winning masks. They're going to try to pull the wool over your eyes, okay? This person ain't nothing but a setback, a distraction, and some bullshit. And you're going to end up being hurt, frustrated, and in regrets. And I don't want you to. Yeah, this is a situation that you need to let go of. Mm-hmm. Ace of Cups in reverse. There's no love here. And and I'm not trying to say it in a negative way, but whoever this is, like, mm-mm. They're not dishing out what you are dishing out or what you want them to do. So I don't want you guys to be the one stuck, hurt, in your feelings and stuff. Going to this Ace of Cups in reverse. Queen of Swords. Yes, you need to cut them off. The Ace of Cups is in reverse down here, too. I will cut them off. Don't, like, this is somebody that you got to cut off. Don't show or give love to. Mm -mm. The world card. Like I said, this is not the type of person you want in your life. This is some type of lesson here again. So this is very serious, Virgo, because like I said, for some of you guys, you're trying to move forward in love. You're trying to attract to find the emperor or somebody that is equally yoked to you or somebody that you feel is on your level. But it's like whoever is coming in, it's everything that you don't want. Like, it's a situation that you don't want or you don't want to be with this type of person. But... It's like, I'm not saying you're blind to not see it, but you're not using your intuition when it comes to them. And you're just putting yourself in a situation that is going to be kind of like the same energy of a last situation or a last relationship or something. But you're not going to see it until it's too late. So this is a warning. Okay, look, see, if you're tired of that unrequited love, you're tired of feeling left out in the cold and hurt, like walk away because this person is no good. Okay, what did Tina Turner say? What's love got to do with it? But this person is not, they're coming off as if like they're this loving, sweet person. But like I like I said, see, look, four of wands in reverse. Mm. And if like they'll, like, mm, let me see. Why is this four of wands in reverse? They, they might even have you around the family, introduce you to the family and everything. And have you think like they really like you, they're into you. They might introduce you to the homeboys, the family, everything. And it's just going to be some bullshit. And they're going to end up, you know, either committing to somebody else or offering to somebody else. But I feel like this is not what you want. For some of you guys, you're in this energy now, Virgo. And this has, this has been dragging out all year. And it's time for you to really see what is going on. Look, Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Like I said, they're going to, look, introduce you to the family, friends, everybody. But it's people around them know what kind of person they are. Like, yeah. And there's a there's an empress here to the emperor. Why is this empress here? See? And when they stop making time for you and start ignoring you, that's why. And whoever this is, they're going to choose their their relationship or whoever they were with the baby mom over you. Even if they're not with them right now and they try to work on getting back together, they're going to choose them over you. So, yeah. Don't walk. Run, Virgo. This is a test. Okay. I don't like it. Let's see. 
love messages for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. We have other lovers. Yep. So other people in the mix. Someone is cheating. Happiness. So somebody could have just got married too. It looks like this person could have just got married. All right. Um, are they engaged? Are they just got married? Or that's what's going to happen. Or that's what you're going to find out. We have discovery. Yep. Finding out the truth. Finding out some type of secrets. Some type of secrets coming out. We have ascension. Res um, resolving the past. Overcoming emotional blocks. Spiritual relationship. Yeah. So this person, like I said, is coming in to test you to help you guys resolve your past issues. Your, you know, past connections and stuff so that you guys can ascend and go towards what it is you want. All right. There may even, this may even come with like some type of jealousy. But this person has a wandering eye. And it may hurt for you to have to break things off with them. But this is not a good situation. It's going to be gossip, rumors, disrespect, a lot of stuff around this situation. So I feel like it's best that you guys get the fuck out now, Virgo. Seriously, honestly. Because this is crazy. All right, so let's see. We have the magician in reverse. This is in their intention. See the play games. Like somebody is playing games. You're gonna be like, damn, did you even like me? The star. See, and you are all into them. They have, they have you all into them. See, look, that's how they trap motherfuckers. They get you all up, wrapped up in them, and then they turn their back on you or act funny. I don't. I wouldn't say they think this is a game, but this is how they move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like to also be chased. Or they like they like people chasing them, and then you gonna chase after them, and it's still not gonna go nowhere. Mm. Going to this Ace of Cups or Universe, the Magician. See, if you want to manifest real love or manifest manifest something different, you need to let this type go, and that's what this is the eye like. This is an eye opener for you, Virgo. I know some of y'all probably don't want to hear it, but that's what this is about. The Four of Swords is in reverse. This is you like recovering, healing. You, you're you broken down like you're just, you're over it because you've been through so much in the, in the other relationships or past relationships. But you are needing to awaken to the fact that you are going to keep attracting this type if you don't shift your energy or see past certain things. Like you keep seeing past certain things that are important. So, Five of Wands is in reverse. Let's see. How's the Five of Wands in reverse? Yeah, it looks like you're going to want to confront this person about the situation. They're going to have you upset wanting to confront them and going off. But I'll just tell you this now, Virgo, they're not going to care. They're not. Like, the way they move, the way this person is, they're not going to care. They're not going to care if you go off on them. They don't care. They're not going to care about that. You can get mad and upset. They don't care. And if anything, they might get smart right back with you. That not of swords is right there. They don't care. Why is this not a swords here? The Queen of Wands. The best, like I said, don't walk, run. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse. This person is just, their ego is in the way. This person is arrogant. They're all about themselves. This person thinks they look good. They can have whoever they want. You know, they got like a little attitude. We have the sun here. We have the, the world card in reverse. But for some reason, I don't know why this is what they do. They meet people and like try to make them happy or make them feel like they're the best thing in the world. And then they just end up like, you know, ending things with them or not into them or once they see somebody really into them then they kind of like fall back or switch up like if they're weird as fuck yeah seven of cups is in reverse this is a reality check this is you gaining clarity on the poor choices and decisions that you have made in your past relationships and you like kind of feeling stuck and trapped in this energy and telling yourself like no this is not where i want to be this is not for me and it's best for some of you guys to just be single and focus on your money and not focus so much on love or just not let situations like this hold you back or distract you or keep you stuck and, and blocked and trapped or, you know, stop you from doing what you need to do and stop giving so much to these relationships too soon as well. All right, Virgo? So I'm not trying to get on y'all. I'm just telling y'all what I'm seeing, okay? Let's pull some additional messages for Virgo. Virgo, look, never calls, only text. So there is definitely a reason why this person is a liar. Okay. Um, we have needs therapy. This person needs therapy. This person probably didn't been through shit or 
you might need some therapy after this. I'm not even trying to be funny. So, yeah, see, some of you guys, you might need therapy or might want to talk to somebody that can be why consultant expert is here. And that's not a bad thing. Some people just go through stuff, you know. Um, we have guarded. We have praying. So, I see you guys, like, guarded and praying, you know, like, over the bullshit. Yeah, so that you guys can move forward. I feel like this might put a number on you. You guys might definitely be in, some, in your energy, be in some type of feeling. I mean, be in your feelings about this. Or be hurt over this. Like, this seems very serious. See the red flags. See, and you ignored them. Judgment was here. Left on read. Gets money. Trying to impress the homeboys. See, look. And for some of you guys, they were introducing you to their friends and family. Like, oh, like, not saying it like this. Like, oh, I got hoes. I got women. I got this. Because they're trying to impress the homeboys. Like, oh, I got I got this girl. I got that girl. I got this. I got that. You know, and then acting funny and withdrawing from you. See, their ego, in a way. Gets money. Three of cups. Seven of Pentacles, they're also used to women taking care of them or doing stuff for them. Or they end up getting with women that have money or men that have money that, you know, are looking for love or feeling some type of way so that they can take advantage. So y'all were just with just a dog, a dog ass, like for real. It's not even cute at this point. It's just terrible. But it's all going to come back to them. Karma going to bite them in the ass. For some of you guys, this is like a married player. We got Karma at the bottom of the deck too. They're going to get their karma. They will get their karma. Okay. Because y'all do not deserve. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. This is some bullshit. Let's see. Messages for Virgo. This are um, characteristic cards. So it might describe you or the person or it might not. Let's see. A Virgo. Give me messages for a Virgo. Messages for a Virgo. We have stubborn. Still trying to figure their life out familiar so there may be some familiarity five nine and taller king and queen vibes i don't know not ready karma complected i don't know how you guys will get king and queen vibes off of this but like i said i feel like this person had you guys really thinking and believing it but look we have the queen of wands reverse so like you guys were thinking differently because they were just thinking of you as another woman it's another person or another man or you know somebody that they were messing with like it's the queen of wands reverse so they weren't thinking see look they knew that they were going to end things eventually the death card they were just giving in to it for so long or to see what they can get or to see like where it was going to go and then cut it off so this person had different expectations in you Virgo and unfortunately I'm sorry y'all had to go through this it could be another earth sign that does talk about you this person could have been packing down there this person is holding anything this person is immature and irresponsible some of you guys can be pregnant by this person um we have smaller breasts travel this person can travel a lot and we have slim and petite okay um yes so i don't know but i don't know i don't like it i want to redo it but this is the message and i can't go against the message y'all all righty definitely sending y'all lots of love virgo if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would love to book with me you already know fireintuition.com bye virgo